Welcome back to the news tonight. Let's bring you some national news now. Uh, the BJP has hit out at the UPA government over Telecom uh, Minister Kapil Sibyl's dismissal of the CAG's report on the 2G spectrum allocation as well as the Bofors kicks back um, case issue. The BJP is preparing a strategy for taking on the government on the corruption cases that have come to light in 2010. Corruption and rising prices have dominated the agenda on day one of the BJP's two-day national executive in Guwahati. This is the first meeting of the national executive of the party after the 2G spectrum allocation controversy and the standoff between the government and the opposition over the issue of a JPC probe into it. Do you think a minister has a right to look at something, a comment about something which the PAC, a committee of the parliament is looking at? No, but he has said it. He's gone on record to say it. The report is erroneous. The deduction that 1.74 lakh was lost by the exchequer is an erroneous uh, method. I'm talking in about my, In my opinion, it is highly improper. Number one, uh, CAG has never said it that this is the exact amount. Mr. Sibbal should have read the report carefully. He has given three limits, the lowest limit, the middle limit, and the highest limit. And he has always said it is presumptuous. So nowhere he has said that this is the pakta amount. So this shows that he has uh, been very casual and uh, it ill behoves of a minister to talk ill of the CAG. But at a time when the PAC is looking at it? That's right, but let, let him, uh, he, his, his party or his um, uh, representatives can come and say, whatever he wants to say, his secretary can come and say, his secretary of the ministry had come, had been examined, and he had never said that this is erroneous. Well, moving on now, your green and healthy daily diet is going to be burning that hole in your pocket soon. With the ever-increasing prices of uh, the vegetables, it has only rendered the government helpless and the common man angered with the upward trend we've been seeing in the last couple of weeks. Our colleague Pratiksha Ramkumar got her vegetable basket out and went shopping to the markets today armed with just 200 rupees. And here's a look at how much she managed to get with that. Well, my family has requested me to make them a vegetable big dish and a vegetable risotto. And it being the end of the week, I have come to do some vegetable shopping for my family. I have about 200 rupees and let's see what we can get for ourselves in this vegetable market in Kandan Javadi. Uh, I'm going to pick up a cauliflower and probably a half a kilo of potatoes. Let's take the biggest we can get. And some onions. I'm going to be looking at a half a kilo of onions too some green vegetables and of course the most important for all our Indian food, tomatoes. It's time to get our hands on the next vegetable basket too. quarter kilo of beans, some, we're also looking at some peas to make our food even sweeter and just some cabbage and we are done. Anay Devlo Aao. So while this is what you can get for 200 rupees, this bag of vegetables and this one more basket too. So what we did uh, manage to buy with 200 rupees was one kilo of onions worth 64 rupees, which is a whopping amount. A half kilo of tomatoes, a huge cauliflower, a cabbage, and uh, some potatoes, and even some ginger and uh, some green vegetables. Well, this is definitely enough for my baked dish and vegetable resort and will also probably last my family for a couple of days. Uh, so it does look like a week's uh, vegetables for a family would go up to even 800 rupees at this rate. 
quite a pinch for lots of us. Uh, but uh, that uh, onion still making us cry while it claims the top spot, squeezing out 64 rupees a kilogram from you and me. Close to its heels is the tomato, selling at 60 rupees a kilogram. So be ready to miss your chutney at that frequented restaurant or just pay that extra bit. But others in the vegetable kingdom have not been far behind, with peas going at 40 beans trailing at 36 and the potatoes at 22 a kg. Well, uh, coming up on the other side, on the hard courts tonight, can Lee and Hesh make the Croatian visitors dance to their tunes in the semi-final now? That's in a moment.